Jim Jack Harris. Uh, this is a sign that I had created from the American Christian Patriot of the Year Award. Uh, this is supposed to be a video uh, depicting American Christian Patriot of the Year. This is me. Uh, I'm hoping that it's at least an hour long video and uh, I'll be uh, highlighting the different things that are important to me. My website is jackswildlifedreams.com. Uh, this is the proudest award I've ever been given up to this time. Uh, you'll see this on my website. Uh, these are some different awards that I've been given. Uh, uh, that I, I am highlighting. Uh, this one is uh, Pennsylvania Vo uh, Veteran Supporter of the Year in Pennsylvania. That's uh, from Vital, Veterans in Defense of Liberty. I have the mask on to start this uh, because I believe that the epidemic uh, should be, every, almost, far more people should be wearing the mask now, because it, show, it not only shows that you want to protect yourself, it shows the people around you that you want to protect them also. <coughs> the award American Christian Patriot comes from this uh, family coalition uh, and the uh, Faith and Freedom Organization. Uh, and uh, it's one of the very pr uh, proudest awards of my life. As I said, I want to. I'm hoping that this shows both sides, both sides of this, uh, and and it's hope. Hopefully, it's accurate enough to read the uh, inscriptions on the on the sign. I'm hoping here again that this will read uh, what I have written here. This particular. Uh, Team Earth Conservation Award was emailed to Greta Thornburg, who is standing up for the most important conservation issue of our time. Uh, uh, this, is, this is from Navigators. This is a, an award I've been, uh, received from Navigators. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, this is Defenders of Wildlife. Uh, I'm trying to show my much varied interest in trying to leave this world a better place because I lived. Uh, these awards have come to me in the last eight or, eight or nine years after I published my book, Beyond My Wildest Dream. Uh, on page 53 of that book, I wrote the song, America and Peace, uh, which is on my website. Uh, I'm going to recite the words to it now, and this is one of the reasons that I have the American Christian Patriot of the Year Award, uh, uh, been given the American Christian Patriot of the Year Award. Uh, God has blessed America, and I believe he always will, as long as we stand with justice on top of every hill. Our soldiers are the best of us, they stand at freedom's right. Honor is their cornerstone, the law is their guiding light. The insanity of war is nearly at its end. I believe the world will find a way for all men to be friends. God has blessed America, and I believe he always will, as long as we stand with justice on top of every hill. We ask for understanding, not a military fight. We ask all men to do what all men know is right. Our world is but a cinder orbiting in space. All men should understand this is our only place. God has blessed America, and I believe he always will, as long as we stand with justice on top of every hill. A mother's tears are all the same when their soldiers fall. If they will cry together, the world will heed their call. When all men understand this song, I'll know it shows the way to honor, justice, peace on earth, and all men's better day. God bless the world with peace and America, my home. And when I sing that song, I always re re 
uh, re impress, uh, re redo the second, that last line, God please bless the world with peace and America my home. This is recognition from the Red Cross of America for some work I did with Hurricane Sandy uh, with them. I'm very proud of the time I spent with the Red Cross. I wish I could do far more for them. This is the, this is the documentation of uh, American Christ or this is uh, Veteran Supporter of the Year of Pennsylvania. This is from Vital Veterans in Defense of Liberty. I wear a lot of different hats, uh, and that's what I'm trying to show here. This is the NRA. Uh, this is Car Arms. Uh, I'm very, very proud to tell anybody uh, that Cook Jin Moon, or now Sean, uh, Justin Moon, a very good friend of mine, the owner in, of the Tommy Gun Warehouse in Pike County, Pennsylvania. Uh, I'd also... I also want to recite the poem, Mother Earth, uh, which I wrote on and have, uh, uh, let me see this. For billions of years she circled the sun, creating conditions for us to have our fun. The great dinosaurs were in our way. A cosmic accident caused their dismay. With these huge beasts, humans would not have lasted. An asteroid landed and their world blasted. Into extinction they went their way. Now conditions were right for our first day. Mother continued to make things right for humans to evolve from the cosmic night. If she knew what we would do, she would have stopped and thought things through. For we have put her in such a bind, she may now think she lost her mind. Her children she fed for a million years. Now she may drown us with her tears. Earth's average temperature is on the rise. This is a fact, not a surprise. The ice is melting and may disappear. The surface of the sea will swallow cities year after year. The storms will grow in size and power. The rain will increase by the hour. The coral reefs will no longer bloom. The heated water will lead to their doom. Very few species can change this fast. Most of the others will breed their last. Dear Mother, I cannot change the human race. Our intelligence may not keep us from failing in disgrace. Some people might ask, how does the human race fail? The human race fails through the use of nuclear weapons, uh, which I don't believe will ever really happen. I don't believe that President Trump, I do not believe that President Putin, I do not believe that the communist Chinese leader believe that nuclear war uh, will, uh, is a, a realistic option in war. Uh, I honestly believe that the Chinese have enough, with the radiation released from just the Chinese nuclear arsenal, which is estimated at 1,500 weapons, uh, would be enough to destroy virtually everything on this planet. Uh, the uh, America supposedly has 2,500 nuclear weapons. They're again destroying this world at least once. Uh, the Russian government is supposed to have as many as 7,500 nuclear weapons. Uh, just to give a, a slight example of uh, the power of, of the nuclear weapons in the arsenals today. Uh, if you, if you can think of Mount Pocono, a nuclear weapon going off in Mount Pocono, Pennsylvania, and all the, all the wood, everything, everything that can burn would burn in seconds. The dust cloud that that one weapon would create uh, and then multiply it 1,500 times for China 2,500 times for America's nuclear arsenal and 7,500 times for Russia's nuclear arsenal. It would destroy everything in the world three or four different times. That's why I believe that nuclear weapons are not an option in war. And I want to, I want to explain how the amazing grace parallels my life. Uh, I once was lost, but now I'm found. 
was blind, but now I see. Uh, Twas grace that taught my heart to fear. Twas grace that set me free. How precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed. Uh, I, I want to draw a comparison with those words to my personal life. Uh, when I was about 20 years old, I was considering being a Presbyterian ministry, minister. Uh, I knew the Bible almost as well as Sean, our instructor here, our reverend that starts here at the church, did at that time. I knew almost all of the parables, which are uh, an, an earthly story with a heavenly meaning, uh, and uh, about when I was about 24 years old, just after my sister died of natural causes, uh, I put a gun to my head just after that and didn't use it. And I believe that that's because God reached down and said, no, I have a higher uh, plan for your life. And he pulled me through the depression with the help of many of my of the people I was working with at the time at Haddon Craftman Book Bindery, including Jimmy Reese, Bobby Kropanicki, Daniel DeGilio, uh, Burson Bepler. Uh, they helped me through the worst part of my life, uh, but that was part of God's, God's plan, I believe. And uh, she... Uh, uh, eventually, now I've been given all these amazing awards since I published the book Beyond My Wildest Dream, uh, wrote the song America and Peace. Uh, suicide is never part of God's plan. That is totally, completely giving in to the devil's work. God's plan never includes suicide for anybody. Um, uh, so God lifted me up as if, as if the song America, uh, Amazing Grace did, and now I am trying to, I believe that God wants me to, has extended my life. I've had brain surgery. I don't know if you can see the scars here. That my, uh, Dr. Hala, a man born in India, migrated to the, to the United States to become the Surgeon General uh, the, of the uh, uh, Community Medical Center in Scranton, uh, and that, that operation took place two day, the day before my 20, 61st birthday. I'm standing here now, 70 years old plus, and uh, 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 since then, in 2013, I had a medical trace heart attack. Uh, after that, I had colon cancer. These are all things that have been taken away from my life, and I use them to uh, prove that God has taken care of my life and wants me to do more for him and more for America and the world. My goal, one, one world under God, indivisible, with life, liberty, pursuit of happiness for every person on this planet. Uh, 